Hey, it's Earth Castle. Did you know that there are layers to this stuff? Like, literally. You might be wondering why expert mappers make such good looking textures, and it's because of layers. There is a secret dark magic behind texture making that makes textures go from flat and boring to immersive, bumpy, and three dimensional. It's called bump maps, or more commonly, normal maps. You may have heard of them before or seen them when looking through the texture browser, but never really understood how they work, why to use them, or how to make them. They might seem like a complicated process, but they are surprisingly easy to make and use. I'm not going to explain how it works, because honestly I don't know, and I'm not a nerd. Anyway, today I will teach you how to make bump maps, slash normal maps, for your textures in the hammer editor. First you need to make the normal map texture which is a texture separate from your main one that tells the lighting where it's more flat and where it isn't. This gets overlaid on your original texture to add depth to it, I think. First, go to this website. I'll put a link in the description for it. Deselect all other texture options except normal below the select file button and then select the texture you want to generate your normal map for and it should download it automatically. If it doesn't automatically download, just click the download button. And yes, I know VTF Edit has a built-in normal map generator, but I find this website to do a much better job at more bumpy textures. Though I would recommend the built-in one if you don't want it to be too noticeable. Once you have your texture, it should look something like this. Now, make your original texture as normal by putting it into VTF Edit and making a VTF and VMT file for it. If you don't know how to do that, I have a tutorial for it which I'll also link in the description. Once you've generated your texture as usual, generate a second texture using your bump map image. You can name it whatever you want, but I'd recommend naming it the same as your original texture with some variation of underscore normal map at the end to avoid confusion. After you've generated both textures, open the VMT file of your original texture in VTF Edit. This should pull up something looking like this. Under the base texture section, add a new line and add similarly formatted text that says bump map, and then the name of your bump map texture. Then save the VMT and close VTF edit. Now apply your texture to your face in any map, load the map up, and you should see the difference. Thanks for watching, if you enjoyed make sure to check out my other content, you can also check out my discord server if you need help with hammer problems, want to talk about hammer mapping, or just want to hang out. You can also join my patreon where I upload early map teasers, exclusive maps, and more. And that's all for now. See you.